Excel list versus go to lister in this video, I'm going to be doing a side by side comparison of these two softwares. And we're going to be focusing on three main components of each software. Number one is speed, seeing which one's really faster. Number two is overall workflow. So how easy is it to use the software? And then how easy does it make your workflow? Is it is there a big learning curve? If you train somebody else to use a software, how easy is it, is it for them to use a software? And third, we're going to be comparing the profit analytics and overall bookkeeping of each software to see which one really fits your business best. Without further ado, let's get in the video. Real quick, I want to put a disclaimer. This is an extremely biased video. I am the founder of GoToWister along with my partner and developer, Dom. We're both Amazon sellers. We created this software because we knew there could be something better in the market. I just want to say this is an extremely biased video. And regarding Accelerlist and the harsh, harsh criticism that I do have for Accelerlist in this video, which which you'll see in a second, I'm, I rewatched the videos and I was like, wow, some of that criticism was pretty harsh, but it's true. And I wouldn't expect anything less than than the same treatment from everyone uh, regarding GoToLister. And regarding my relationship with Accelerlist, I respect the owner, Travis, and I also respect the developer who, who worked with them originally. And I don't know the developers now. But I will say I, I would never have created GoToLister if I didn't think that there could be something better. And I do have respect for Accelerlist. Let me finish up on Accelerlist here since I'm still scanning books and I'll go ahead and dive into the side-by-side -side workflow comparison of each of these softwares. So quickly, you can see here, this is Accelerlist workflow. And then over here, we have GoToLister's workflow. And immediately you can see GoToLister is much simpler. The reason why I created this software is because I thought that you know we could do better in the Amazon community and we've really simplified this. So you know even my students who I teach, who are older and technologically, you know, challenged, they can they can use my software and not be super confused. Over here in Accelerlist, one of the one of my pet peeves with Accelerlist when I use it is the fact that you had to jump over if you wanted to change your condition note, you had to actually click on notes up here. And if you wanted to change your workflow, you had to go here. Uh, repricer, I'm not really sure what that does. We'll get into more features later. Um, but over here, overall, you just see there's so much going on and the text is really small. And what we've done with GoToLister is we've actually made it so it's really simple. You see all the stats you need at the top. You can easily search your batch for any items. You can easily toggle condition here, which was my main pet peeve with Accelerlist was you had to, when you were toggling condition, you had to go over to notes. You had to hit a drop down menu. You had to change the condition and then change the condition note. Here on GoToLister, you can quickly change good, very good, good, acceptable. It's right underneath the scan bar. And you can quickly change your source. You can add condition notes here and just toggle quickly between them. And it looks like I'm actually finishing up over at Accelerlist right now. So you can see my batch is done. It takes a little bit over twice as long to list with Accelerlist. That's just the facts. Um, and that's just because they, they wait on Amazon's response time. That's just, you know, uh, the software is different. 
and we've optimized for speed and we've also optimized for simplicity. So that's a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the workflow. Um, both softwares allow you to send the batch. So if we click, click on send batch here versus preview shipments here, this is essentially doing the same thing. You'll be able to see the split shipments. And one of the differences with these softwares is I'll go ahead and accept the shipments here. And then if we go over here, you can see 24 items are, are good. Like the, the flow is pretty similar here. Create and uh, complete batch. Are you sure? Yes. And then, and so as you can see, go to lister takes you immediately into the next step, which is to finish box contents on go to lister. And then, or if you selected not to use box contents, I have a video that breaks this down in depth, but it'll take you to seller central. Either way, go to lister is guiding you through the next logical step of what you should do. Whereas as you can see here, Accelerolist just takes you back to the main page. And I can see a complete beginner would be lost here and not really know what to do. But um, with GoToList, we actually hold your hand and make sure you or your employee knows exactly what to do next, which is finish box content on GoToLister. And since there's no splits here, we can just click add all to box one. We have our full box right here, ready to go. And then we can click on send box content. We can actually update the box weight within go to lister here so let's just say this is 45 pounds box weight is 12 by 16 by 12 the dimensions are 12 by 6 now this is going to update all the information you'll go to seller central you'll click on convert send to amazon and use their new workflow and all you'll have to do is print labels from there maybe enter a few more details but pretty much go to lister did almost everything you need to do Whereas with Accelerolist, I believe that you can send box contents here, at least back in the day when I use it, you could. So here's a shipment we just created. So similar flow here, you would select it and then you would scan, you know, which items you want to add to the box. I don't think they have an add everything to, yeah, you know, they don't have, they don't have an add everything to one box. So that's, you'd have to scan everything in a second time. Uh, so as you can see, with go to lister. The whole reason why I created it is because I wanted a uh, easier workflow for everyone. So the last comparison I'm going to make is a side by side comparison of the stats and profit analytics, and really what these two softwares allow you to see to help you grow your business. Now let's start over here with the Excel list. You can see they tell you what your sales are, and uh, it doesn't look like they have profit on this page. One of my main concerns with Accelerolist is they always told me I was like trillions of dollars in debt when I was using them. It, it's, they did something with the buy cost and multiplied it. I just never trusted the numbers. You can go to inventory and it, most of these features over here just don't work. Go try it for yourself explore it but they just simply don't work so what we've done with go to lister now I'll, I'll do a little bit more of a comparison is we just simplified everything you can even see like the way ours looks is simpler we under promise over deliver again i want the same treatment that i'm giving accelerolist in this video if you guys ever experience anything wrong with go to lister i want you to hit me up immediately and let me know but what we've done is we've under promised and we've showed you what your core key stats are so what's your profit each month how many items have you listed? This is very important because if you want to grow your Amazon business, you have to list more items. Uh, how many items have you sold? Total orders and what your average sales price is. So as an Amazon seller, these are the important stats. Average sales price is extremely important for both sellers. So you can easily see this on, on your computer. You can also see this on your phone. I'll show you real quick. It's cool. We have a very friendly mobile view. So if you log in, you can see your sales and stats uh, simply on this page right here. Boom, right there, just like that. And you can see what your profit is, how many items you've listed, if you're growing, if you're if you're not growing. And so you can easily open this up. Accelerolist does not have a mobile-friendly version, but uh, we do. So, yeah, that's the main difference. I know it sounds like I'm hating on Accelerolist in this video. I don't really like making videos like this, honestly, because it just makes me kind of sound like a douchebag. But um, I would have created a go-to list here if Accelerolist was like the best software out there and Inventory Lab and all the others. Like I truly think with it, we've always created the best. We're working hard on making it even better. But most of these features over here, the accounting features, they just simply 
don't work. Again, like here, here's a great example. It's like, how are the fees always higher? This is a perfect example. Like the red's always higher than the green, which makes no sense. And on this account, they're not even entering expenses. So it really doesn't make sense. Like every day is losing money. Um, the income's not available. It's just a lot. Like there's just so much going on. And big shout out to Dom, my developer. If you guys join the Facebook group for GoToLister, make sure to give Dom a big thanks. He is always like cutting back what I want. I'm kind of throwing all these ideas out there. He's like, let's keep it simple. He never publishes anything that's not functional. And if it's not functional, we find out real quick because you, you guys can always message us here. So if there's ever any issues at all, just say, hey, you can be ruthless. Say, hey, this shit doesn't work. Uh, hit us up there. And um, we have, we always, if, if you see that we're there, that means we have a live agent uh, available to help you. But the purpose of GoTo Lister is to help you grow your business by looking at your what your uh, what your profit is last thirty days, and the items listed, what your average sales price is, and stuff like that. So between the two, we've just simplified it. Ours is functional, and we have a lot more coming, guys. We have end of year net profit reports coming soon, and we also have, we're actually going to do before that we're going to do what you should replenish. So if we do an online arbitrage. We're going to tell you what ASINs you should replenish that are making you the most profit. So we're going to bang that out first and then pretty soon we'll have net profit reports, which means at the end of the year, you can download year to date, go to Lister. It's going to tell you this is how much net profit you made. Uh, but right now, this, these are gross profit reports. You can see what your gross profit is on a monthly basis, which is a huge indicator of are you purchasing good inventory. Uh, you can see essentially what your sell through is by looking at your total orders. Um and compare that to what your inventory level is and uh, what your average sales price is. So, yeah. So, if you want to give GoToLister a go, go to GoToLister.com. It's a completely free trial. We won't charge you. If you want to cancel, cancel anytime. But this is the fastest listing software factually that exists right now. And it's only going to get better. And when you join, you're going to get my free course, my free book selling course, my free online arbitrage course. Uh, we'll send you all that. You, I used to charge $400 for that book selling course, but you'll get it emailed instantly. You also get the option to join our Facebook community. And I'm super excited to work with you guys. So be sure to say what's up in the Facebook group and you can reply to any emails. You can comment below and I'm here for you guys. Much love. See you soon.